When we think of animals with horns, we usually think of rhinos or antelopes, maybe even cattle, bison, and wildebeest. But none of these is a predator. To find a horned predator that exists today, we may have to set our sights a little smaller. Take Jackson's chameleon, for example. Although these lizards are only 13 inches or 33 centimeters long, they still make a formidable predator if you're an insect and considered on their lunch menu. They mostly hunt in trees, ambushing their prey with an extensive tongue that can reach their prey within 0.06 seconds. The tongue extends to 1.5 times its body length. Prey consists of insects, spiders, small lizards and birds, and snails. Jackson's chameleons look like many triceratops. The males have three horns sticking out of their heads. They use these horns to defend territories, fighting with other males of their species, much as the triceratops did. They are bright green with traces of yellow and blue. Like other chameleons, they also have the ability to change their color depending on their surroundings. Speaking of dinosaurs, the meat-eating bull, known as Carnotaurus, was a theropod dinosaur. They lived on Earth about 70 million years ago. This carnivorous dinosaur is one of only a few meat eaters known to have possessed horns. In the case of Carnotaurus, they use their horns to fight conspecifics, possibly by ramming each other's head or pushing each other head to head in a battle for strength. The horns, which were slightly flattened at the tip, acted as shock absorbers, minimizing the impact on the brain. It is thought that these dinosaurs fought each other for territory as well as for mating rights. Predating the Carnotaurus was the Cerasaurus, which lived 150 million years ago. This was also a formidable predator. It grew up to 25 feet or 7 meters long and had three horns on its head. Two were above its eyes and one on its snout. It is thought that these horns were also used in fights with conspecifics. Just like the Carnotaurus, it hunted aquatic prey, such as fish, as well as herbivorous dinosaurs. It walked and ran on its powerful hind legs and was probably one of the fastest dinosaurs to have lived. The third horn on its nose was used for display, whilst the two horns above the eyes that were more like bony ridges were likely used for fighting. These ridges above the eyes were similar to those found on another dinosaur called Allosaurus. These were thought to be used as sunshades for the eyes, or as display, or combat against other Allosauruses. Other predatory animals alive today that possess horns include some lizards, snakes, and invertebrates. Whether these are true horns, however, is debatable. In the case of insects, most are herbivorous and their horns, such as those found on the rhinoceros beetle, are made from chitin, the same material as their shells. There are several species of horned lizard. These reptiles are only four inches long, but are covered in spikes or spines and have two horns on their heads. They are carnivorous lizards, preferring to eat ants. Whilst the spines on their bodies are adapted scales, the horns on their heads are true horns. With a bony core, these lizards are preyed upon by many animals, including coyotes, hawks, and snakes. They use their horns and spikes for defense. Horned vipers are venomous, predatory snakes with distinctive horns above their eyes. Not all individuals have these horns, and those that do use them to protect their eyes from the sand as well as to aid in camouflage. These horns aren't true horns, however. Instead, they are modified scales that curl up into a spike that looks like a horn. There are many invertebrates with horn-like projections on their heads. Most of these are used for defense or for fighting with individuals from the same species. Although some of these are described as horns, they are mostly extensions of the insect's chitinous outer shells. Impressive horns found on the rhinoceros beetle are a great example of this. However, these insects are herbivores and not predators. It seems that some predators possess horns. However, these appear only to be found on smaller animals. The horns are predominantly used for defense. Usually, they are there to help defend them against predators or rivals from the same species. Although these animals are predatory, they are not at the top of the food chain, which is why they need to deploy significant defense tactics as well as predatory ones. For larger predatory animals, however, such as the big cats, 
wolves, wild dogs, and bears, they are often at the top of the food chain and therefore do not need to invest in such defensive measures. Large vertebrate predators are often at the top of the food chain. They don't need these kinds of defenses. Horns aren't used to capture prey, and they are heavy and bulky. These are characteristics that a predator doesn't need. Apex predators need to be quick, agile, and nimble. They rely on their bite force or sharp teeth and claws with powerful muscles to take down prey and defend themselves. Claws, jaws, and teeth are very effective at immobilizing prey, but horns would be less effective. Looking back once again at prehistoric species, we can see the incredible armor that Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and Triceratops bore. Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptors didn't have any armor plating, spikes, spines, or horns on them, and for good reason. There is a trade-off for predators. They need to be fast and strong with the ability to take down prey quickly and efficiently. Therefore, they cannot have heavy armor to weigh them down. They must rely on other physical attributes to protect them. The hide of a white rhino is two inches thick, covering the body in a tough outer layer that protects them from injuries. In comparison, the soft fur of the slender cheetah and mighty lion does not protect them from any great impact. In fact, as droughts become more common, lions are more likely to attempt to take down a rhino than ever before. They are more likely to die from wounds inflicted by rhinos when times are tough. Of course, some predators do also possess armored protection. Look at crocodiles and alligators, for example. They have bony scoots on their backs, which act as a shield against bites from other crocodiles and predators. They rely on their ambush tactics and incredible bite force to take down prey. Having horns, however, would weigh down an apex predator. They could cloud the vision of their forward-facing eyes and become cumbersome when speed and agility are relied upon to catch prey. The horns of rhinos, buffaloes, domestic cattle, sheep, and goats are made from the fibrous protein, keratin. This is the same protection found on our nails and hair. A white rhino's horn typically weighs 4 to 6 pounds, or 2 to 3 kilograms, but can be much heavier. They can inflict serious damage on predators such as lions, hyenas, and wild dogs. Of course, it's not just about defense when it comes to these horned beasts. Horns also serve as a form of sexual attraction by attracting mates. When it comes to sheep rams, those with bigger horns are more successful at headbutting other males and end up with the mating rights to more females. Winning intense physical battles makes these males more successful in terms of passing on their genes to the next generation. However, this comes at a price. Recent research shows that they tend to die younger compared to their less well-endowed competitors. Sheep are obviously not predatory animals, but this shows another functional benefit to having horns. Predators attract mates in different ways, such as by outcompeting other males by fighting and displaying their size or strength. In conclusion, the large predators we think of today, such as lions, leopards, tigers, wolves, crocodiles, and sharks, don't require defense that horns provide. They rely on the fact that they are at the top of the food chain and often have very few predators of their own to protect themselves against. Although they must be careful when it comes to selecting prey to hunt, to avoid injury and possible death, they aren't usually actively hunted themselves. Having horns would potentially slow them down and affect their hunting tactics. Animals that possess true horns have evolved to use them as a defense mechanism. Sometimes, merely the sight of huge horns is enough to deter a predator, but they can be used to lethal effect if and when necessary. We have seen that some smaller animals that are carnivorous are considered predators also have horns. Being smaller, these predatory animals need to have a line of defense, as they are often prey to several other animals. Using horns to defend themselves, as well as ambush hunting techniques makes for a formidable predator, albeit on a smaller scale. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. time.